guys, welcome back to JR14. Here we are with another video for you guys today. Now today what we're gonna do is, as you guys can see, I have my car full of stuff. As I told you on Instagram this past Saturday, I'm doing a full installation of all these parts. Check on the channel pretty soon. But what I wanna to talk to you guys about the importance of making sure you have everything you need for a road trip. So this is gonna, this is gonna consist of a few things. So for instance, this is gonna, first of all, we're gonna go over a bunch of different things. I'm gonna show you everything that you should bring with you on a road trip just in case if you get stuck on the side of the road or if anything happens. Anything can happen, especially while you're driving five hours. We're driving up to Syracuse to visit my boy Brian, in, like I said, in Syracuse. East Hood Racing, that's his company name, his racing company name, and everything else. So the first thing that we're gonna talk about is oil. Volkswagens are notorious for leaking oil and oil's just misplaced. Got an airplane, this is crazy. So we're gonna first talk about oil. It's always good to carry a couple quarts of oil with you just because of the fact you never know. You just never know if you might need to add a little bit of oil. Sometimes the warning light comes on that your oil level's too low. It's good to have some oil with you on the spot. I got some Rove motor oil here that I always keep in my side compartment. Now, of course, you don't wanna get your hands dirty just in case if you do have to work on the side of the road, so we suggest that you bring gloves with you at all times. Bring a couple of towels, some microfibers with you, so this way if you do make a mess, you have some, you can clean up after yourself if you're doing oil. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is tire pressure. I don't know how many times this has happened to me last year where all of a sudden, randomly, I had leaks in tires. And if I had a leak in the tire to the point where I couldn't drive anymore, then I'll be screwed. But not if you have your own kit with you. So here we do have, a little small air, you don't need anything major, just a nice small air compressor kit. The kit does include this, like I said, this air compressor here does include a place where you can plug it up to the car. You do have a uh, connector here to just, you know, plug it up to the cigarette lighter in the car, which conveniently Volkswagen supplies one in the rear and the front and inside the glove compartment of the vehicle. So this is pretty cool because you do have a flashlight just in case if you want to see closely to the tire and also you have on and off and then you can preset this to the air that you want. So if like let's say for instance this car on the stock wheels and tires you should require to have 40 psi. You set preset this to 40 and it'll automatically do 40 and then it'll automatically stop once it hits 40 psi and it'll read it on the, the meter here. And even before you start putting air in the tire it'll show you what the current pressure is in that tire. So you do have that. Okay, let's put that back in the bag. So it's always good to have this with you because this is gonna be a lifesaver. I had a feeling like this summer is gonna be just like last summer. Okay. The next thing that you should always have with you on a road trip is a flashlight. Now most flashlights require a battery, so you probably need to have batteries with you. This one doesn't. This one actually plugs up to a USB so you can charge it on the go. So if you have a cigarette lighter with a couple of USBs in it, just plug this up for about 15 minutes and you have 80% of your charge. And it's very bright. So also, you know, it is metal. So you can keep it with you at all times. It has a USB cord there. And like I said, it has the LED in the center. I'm not gonna turn it on because it will completely blind you guys in the shot. And it does have a breakaway thing too. So, you know, if you need to bash the glass to get out, for whatever scenario, I don't know. I, you never know. So that is also what I have included. And of course I accidentally turned it on. So watch when I go on this road trip and I'll need this and then the battery's dead. Speaking of batteries, one thing that's major, and I'm gonna do a separate video on this later, is this guy. So this is the NOCO GB40. Now let's just say if you're on the side of the road, you don't have another car to help you get jump started, and you need to figure it out. It's happened to me before at least once with this car, and luckily I was at a show and I was able to get a jump from somebody else. And of course Volkswagen is kind enough to provide you with jumper cables from factory. So the cool thing about this guy, I'll open it for you real quick. Again, I'm gonna do a full review on this. Uh, the NOCO GB40. So it's this small. So this is how small it actually is. This is the brick, that's the only size of it. You do have... So you do have this as well. This is pretty cool, this is good. For instance, if you do need to charge your phone and your battery's dead on your car. One second, another car coming. One second, another car coming. Thank you for driving quietly. Okay, cool. So the good thing about this is that you charge this just with a USB port, another USB port. You charge this whole brick with just a USB. This is a lithium ion battery. Again, I'm not going into full specs. This will charge your car. I've seen one video that will actually charge the car. Will actually start at the car without battery, um, without any battery in it. It started at least 10 times before this died completely. 
So this is really good in the jiffy. And it also on the bottom of this box includes the leader cables. Plug that right up to your battery. You turn it on, wait for a few seconds, and then it'll let you know if everything's good to go. Of course, if there's any, if there's any issue with the charging at all, this light will glow right here on, and it also includes lights as well. So got all the lights you need here, you know. So that is this, and I've heard of this saving lives. So just in case if I do have battery issues, I definitely have this on the side of the road and I don't need another car to charge my own car up. So that's definitely good. And then of course, if you like near a, you know, if you're near a rest area stop, you can just borrow an outlet real quick, charge this up, plug it up to the car and you get yourself going again. The next thing I want to talk to, talk to you about, I know, don't laugh, don't laugh, but a lot of you guys don't know this. So when you're on a dark road at night, and you're wearing black like I am, and the only thing that's bright on me is my jeans, and you're in pitch black, dark road, and you're stuck on the side of the road, the last thing you want is a car to hit you because of the fact that they don't see you. Um, only thing they see is like a white car, and they don't see the person crouched right next to it working on the car. So, this is a jacket. This is, you know, I don't want to call it a life-proof jacket, but it's pretty much a jacket where um, a, a visible vest. And actually, I didn't even know about this, but European cars in Europe and in Germany are required by law to have one of these in their car, just like a safety kit or whatever. So make sure you have one of these. It's six bucks on Amazon. You're gonna look ridiculous. You're gonna look like a TSA person with it. But if it helps me keep visible in the middle of the dark when I'm working on a car, I'd rather be seen than to be hit. Delta Airlines, yo, Delta making money today. Delta and JetBlue. That's at least $500 a seat. <laughs> Depending on when it has a small jet, so it's no, probably those is right. hundreds. So just in case if I need to fix anything on the car and I need to get to anything, I do have your basic socket tool kit. I'm not gonna take this out because if I spill these parts on the floor, it's gonna take me 20 minutes to put everything back in the box. But I always carry one of me, one of these with me in the car. It's always good. You can get these for Amazon for like 20, 30 bucks. Just have it with you in your trunk, and everything will be a-okay. Um so Obviously, a couple of other things that you got, obviously, that's just the essentials for me. Like, if I'm going on a road trip and I need to carry some stuff with me, make sure um, that you are filled up before you go. Make sure that you check your tire pressures before you go. Make sure you check all your fluids. Make sure they're topped off and leveled. Um, you know, just do basic, just check arounds of your car. Um, I usually do a wash. Um, don't excuse it now because it, I, it's been raining and, and it, we finally got a nice day today. As you can see, I'm not wearing a jacket, which is awesome. All right, and one more, uh, another thing that you should always bring with you, this is self-explanatory. If you have a flat tire and you definitely need a change and put a donut on the car, make sure that you have a jack and all the jack stands with you. Make sure you don't forget your wheel lock keys. You know, that's happened to me before, where I was always somewhere and then I had to do that fucking play. <laughs> all right. Every minute. Okay, so the one, another thing that you should make sure that you bring with you, if you do end up having a full-blown flat or a blowout on the side of the road, the best thing to do is to make sure that you have a jack GTIs come standard with a jack underneath the uh, floorboard here with um, a tool to take off the lugs as well as the puller tool for the lug caps as well as a key if you do have um, wheel lock keys. Make sure you don't put your key in a place where you know it is. Don't forget it anywhere. I've done that before when I ended up in Jersey because I changed an axle and I did not have the freaking tool and I had to go to a Volkswagen dealership to have them to take all of them. It was a pain. It was a pain and it's definitely unnecessary. It's an unnecessary inconvenience if you just make sure that you have your wheel lock key with you. Just to make sure, I can't do that right now, but I know it's in there. So, <laughs> so I know it's in there, and Brian's friend is a Volkswagen technician anyway, so he should have all the keys supplied to him anyway. You guys to do, put in, if you, oh man, cop got somebody. Cop's getting somebody, oh, go get him. Oh, dang, that road just had it. <laughs> That's why you should always have a radar detector in your car on a road trip. There you go. Make sure that's a good plug. <laughs> Another plane. Delta again. <laughs> yep. Delta has two terminals. They have to. Delta's one of the biggest airlines. Okay. Let me hurry up this video before the next plane comes in. Like, I don't know, three minutes. Probably. Um, so yeah, that radar detector, make sure you check your fluids, make sure you check, you know, just make no maintenance on the car. Like I mentioned, all of these items here that you should bring with you on a road trip. Now, if you feel that I, you brought, like, let's say just for instance, if you feel I forgot something or something that you would bring with you on a road trip as well, um, make sure that you put it in the comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys would bring with you on a road trip as well. Again, this is just a quick video for me to you, just to let you guys know, obviously you see parts here too. So that's all coming, but 
Uh, oh, also one more thing I definitely would bring with me. For any reason, if the battery likes to just crap out and the car forgets everything and I'm on a specific tune, I always bring my Cobb Access port with me just in case if I need to flash back on my tune, just in case if the car, I don't know, forgets or just acts stupid. I don't know. It hasn't happened, but you never know. Just be staying on the safe side. Just bring your access port and your access port cable that plugs up to the OBD2 port. But that's gonna, like I said, now that's gonna conclude everything on this video. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to JR14. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, and I hope to see you guys soon. Stay tuned, and remember, cars are lifestyle.